Hello and welcome to Driving with Dicky. And here's your host, Logan Dickey. Hello and welcome to Driving with Dickey. I am Dickey, and today we will be te teaching you how to change a tire. Now, I know there's some of you out there that are probably wondering why I would ever need to know how to change a tire, so I'll give you a scenario. So you're driving around maybe on my neck of the woods in East Texas out where there's no cell, cell service and you hit a glass bottle, a nail, or any other type of sharp object that punctures your tire. You're out with a flat tire, you have no cell service to call your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your mom or dad, and now you are without a tire. I know there's some of you out there that might think, well, that won't happen to me. But in my personal experience, I have been flagged down by about 35-year-old men with women and kids inside the car, doesn't know how to change a tire when I was 17 years old. And uh, that's just a scenario that nobody really wants to be in. Now, I will say before we start this show off, this tire has been put on backwards for the viewer. Most, most standard tires, uh, spare tires, will say wrong way on the side. And if, if it doesn't, just make sure that where you put the air in your tire, it's facing outwards. Um, so anyways, let's, do, let's go with the, where to find a standard spare tire in most cars. My car, my girlfriend's car, my mom's car, that's all in the same spot. You want to go to the back of your car and open up the hatch of the trunk. So once you've opened that up, there's a piece of carpet that lays down underneath uh, in the trunk. You lift that carpet up, and there might be star styrofoam. You just move that styrofoam out of the way, and your spare tire will be sitting there. There's usually a stopper that you're going to want to remove. You turn it to the left or counterclockwise, and it will remove the tire from its safety harness. And you pick the tire up, and underneath the tire, you usually find a standard jack. This is your standard jack you'll see in 95% of cars now today on the road. You'll have, this is a tool specifically for removing, not only removing the jack, but lifting the jack as well, and a standard wrench. So now that we have your equipment ready, you've got your tire, your tire, your spare tire is ready, your jack's ready, your uh, the jack piece to, to lift the vehicle is ready, and your wrench is ready. You want to remove the jack. So most of the time, inside your average car, the jack's going to be sitting about like that. I typically carry a screwdriver, a few tools around, but you can also use the wrench. And you're going to have to lower it down like this. So once it's lowered down, you'll be able to safely remove the jack from its uh, location inside the vehicle. So now that you've got everything out, you want to make sure a few, a few uh, rules once you realize that your car has a flat. Uh, for starters, you want to make sure that your car is in park. Uh, I know that when a tire goes out that sometimes things get a little bit stressful and uh, you don't, you're not thinking very clearly. So make sure the car is in park. Uh, you want to make sure that you have your parking brake on as well and you also want to make sure that your hazards are on. Uh, parking brake, of course, you get up underneath the car and if, God forbid, your parking brake disengages, the car rolls over you. We don't want that to, have, to happen as well. Uh, your hazards, to make sure you're showing that uh, not only are you in danger, but you are now a danger for other people uh, on the road, so you're, you're, uh, for your safety and other safety, always make sure that your hazards are on when you're in this uh, situation. Also, if at all possible, make sure that you, are, uh, that you are on solid ground. Don't be on sand or dirt because the sand or the dirt could, uh, could shake the, the, the car or the jack off. The, 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 the car could fall off the jack. And that's something that uh, you don't want to have happen. So now let's just, we'll, we'll go back a little bit. We've got the spare out. Your car is now in park, your car's parking brake is on, you're on solid ground, and your hazards are on. Now, a uh, rule of thumb too, say um, you, you're in a situation where you're on a back road, there's no really solid ground to be on. Uh, try to find a, a brick or debris that's like, like this wood right here to put up underneath the jack to kind of uh, take the pressure out of it. Um, we will get a little more into taking off the tire uh, after our sponsor. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go to commercial and we'll go back to taking the tire off. I'm so sick of these skinny jeans. I want to stand out, but I love denim. Then I have the product for you. Introducing Jimmy's Jorts for the kids that love jean fabric but also want to stick out in the crowd. Jimmy's George isn't just for the misunderstood teens, it's also great for outdoor grilling while enjoying 
And we're back. All right, so now our car is in park. Our car's hazards are on. The parking brake is on. You're on solid ground, and now you're ready to begin uh, the, the process of changing the tire. Now, the first thing you want to do before you lift the car, you want to make sure that you break all the bolts. And that's pretty simple. You're going to take the, the standard wrench that's given to you, put it on like this, and you want to turn left. It's a, there's a, and break it loose, and I usually just take it off of my hand. Now, there's an age-old saying that's been around forever, lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. It sounds ridiculous, but you won't forget it. Lefty, take it to the left to take it off, turn it to the right or clockwise, put it back on. So now, we're going to make sure that you do what I call the star pattern. So you break from here, and then you go to the adjacent bolts. So it's from here to here, to here, to here, to here. It's like drawing a star with a pencil. Um, in most cars, you're going to come with a standard five bolt uh, layout like that. So that the star pattern is what you're going to want to use uh, specifically when putting the, 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 nut, the bolts back on. Now, now that everything is ready to be taken off, you want to place the jack up underneath the car. Now these jacks, and like I said, these are the jacks you're going to find in about 90% of cars today. Um, this, it has this slot right here. This, it's, a little, it's a little mouth. What you're looking for underneath the car is going to be a, a thin black railing, right? It's just a piece of metal underneath the car. That's what this is designed for, to hook up right up underneath there. Now, if you look right here, on most jacks, it's going to point. So you've got a front tire that's out. You want to make sure it's about right there. It's about a foot back from the, from the tire that you're changing. Same with the back. It's about in front. It's about a foot in front of the tire that you'll be changing if it's in the back. So now that you're ready, you got this lined up with that thin black piece of metal right there. You just put your jack, you put this wrench piece, like you can put it like this, or you can hook it up like that, and you just start to rotate it. And you want to rotate it right up until about this, this tire here, your flat tire, is just off the ground. If you go any higher, the car could fall off the jack and cause another group of problems for you. So now that your car is lifted, I'm going to have my assistant here take the tire off. He's going to show you the proper way. You want to... You want to grab the bottom of it like this, it'll slide right off. Now at this point, what you're going to want to do is you want to have your spare already ready. So he's got the flat tire off, he's going to bring the spare tire back in here. He's going to put it back on. Typically it won't take two people to do that, but since the location of the tire having to be on this table, it, it took two of us to put it on back on there. So now that your tire is back on, you want to make sure that you at least take all your bolts back that you didn't lose, hopefully, and finger tighten them all the way back down on there, all, all five of them. Get them finger tight. So now that they're all finger tightened down, you want to just put them on. It doesn't matter how you're finger tightening them back on there, uh, quite honestly. So make sure everything's on there just as tight as you can about get it. And you want to lower your car. You just do the opposite of what you did when you lifted it. You rotate it to the left, bring the car all the way back down. Now that the car's all the way back down, this is the more important part. So you want to take, you want to take your bolts, say you've got them on there. It's already been finger tightened on here. So you take your wrench, your standard wrench, and pull it to the right. And you want to get it until until it feels like it can't go anymore and you give it one more little little push once it feels like it's stopped to make sure everything's tight. You want to make sure this is all tight on here. And this is where the star pattern comes in. You want to go here to here to here to here to here. And you'll have, you make sure that it's on there tight and neatly. Now, of course, uh, after you've got the wheel back on, you're just about done now. But you want to make sure that you have everything put back where it needs to be. You want to put your jack back up and to do that, make sure it's flattened all the way out and it's usually a little clamp about like this and you stick it up, up underneath that clamp and you tighten it back up until it stops moving. When it comes to your tools, you want to make sure that you put your tools back in the pouches that's, that's been given most of the time. And then if it's not a pouch, it'll actually be a cutout with underneath where the spare tire goes that you just put back into a styrofoam cutout. That's how my vehicle's like. So now that you've got this put back up, make sure that you have your actual tire back on there so that you can take it to a tire shop and get the tire replaced. And that's how to change a spare tire. Thank you for watching.